Thank you to Natural Products Canada for pointing us into the direction of this wonderful brand that will be in Incubator Alley at the Canadian Health Food Association show in Vancouver. Hi. Hello. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Nice to meet you. I'm Phil. Hi, Phil. Nice to meet you. Hi. And that's Kenny. I think Hi, Kenny. you guys were talking by email. Yes. And you're Christine? Is yes. that right? Okay. Yes. Okay. Sorry, bad with names. Um, That's okay. Well, you know what it is, too? We're just really not the, the two most organized people. If you ever listen to the podcast, we kind of fit what we do. We're never organized, right? So it's usually a lot of times we'll get someone in front of us and thinking, hey, Phil, who's on today? <laughs> We're going to get along just fine then. <laughs> oh, that's excellent. <laughs> really love that. Yeah, no, we, uh, everyone laughs about that, right? Because everyone says, you know, because the podcast is um, unscripted and we're, we, we always talk about being unprepared. And then when we meet people, they're always like, oh, it's so cool that you guys have this thing. And we go, it's not a shtick. It's actually a thing. Like we're not that or <laughs> so no, we don't we rehearse life. We script because much, otherwise yes. it wouldn't be any funny and then we wouldn't do it but we really mean it we, we you know so um yeah 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 no awesome. well that we are real I, when i say we're going to get along well i mean it because we like we understand each other <laughs> yeah totally <laughs> amazing that's amazing um it is nice to meet you so we're, we're doing um we're doing a a fast thought today and um you know, so I, I think what we want to do is get a sense of um, Sunbi and, and you and who you guys are. Um, Sue uh, pointed us your way, right? And and so you're going to be in, Kenny, I always get it wrong. I'm you're not going to you to try this to see where you go with this one. Uh, I, I don't, I, you know, like we've, we've, um, we've had a, a bunch of folks on that we'll be producing like real quick, but I think I have used a different iteration of it every time. So I think you're in Incubation Alley. Is that right? You're right. Very good. Usually, yeah. right. Christine, just so you know, we've been doing this. I think this is the third uh, sort of year that we've done. Yeah. Uh, sort of Incubator Alley. And mm -hmm. uh, Phil never gets it right. Uh, no, He's I know. called I, it everything. No. But like I, I change. My thing is I change names. Like I screw around with. I It's just my brain. I rearrange everything. Yeah. So um, uh -huh. anyway. Um, so but, that's what we want to do with yeah. you is literally right. give us the high level give what because what the whole purpose of this is to try to get more people when they're going to chfa to say you know what i need to go see christine because she's giving me some tidbits and something cool so what you're talking to today we're recording so it's all going to get put in is okay. hey listen mr and mrs retailer you really need to come see us and here's why or hey mr and mr distributor or broker whatever you're looking for so that's why we wanted you to tailor your conversation today to really get people to say I need to go see her and these wonderful environmentally friendly products. Yes, thank you. Well, if you've looked at my website, so we are manufacturing all natural products in several different avenues. Lots of categories. Yes, and it, mm. sometimes that drives people crazy, which comes back to our organization, this disorganization. But, you know, we, we pride ourselves on having effective chemical free options for your pets and your family. So primarily, I think our, our number one seller on there is our produce wash. And it has been tested in California um, to, against several bacterias and molds. Mm -hmm. And the really great thing about that product is the fact that it sustains and extends the life of your produce, your your, veg, your, your leafy vegetables. But it also gets rid of all the dirt and wax and, and anything harmful from all, you know, consumer touching in, in the in the stores or retail locations, right? So there are some very hypersensitive people out there. And when you're eating apples, you know, is it enough to wash it? Some think so, but at least if you are really worried about um, people being sick and in the stores, this does eliminate the bacteria and virus and molds off those fruits and vegetables. Oh, very cool. Okay, um, that's, that's pretty cool. I mean, that's that's pretty cool. You know, it's also uh, a pretty big achievement to get tested in California and be able to come out of there. <laughs> well, especially in that state. No. The, yeah, the, the rules and regs are just particularly um, in that state, right? You come out of your level of grinder, right? so yeah. 
Well, so trying to be sustainable and with the expense now in, in buying, I mean, I bought a, a cauliflower last week. It was $7. I know. I needed two of them. <laughs> yeah. I know. Oh, but right? what, you know, and that used to be the sort of the cheap part of your meal. Right. Exactly. Like it's gotten ridiculous, right? I mean, when vegetables become problematic to buy. Mm -hmm. Right. So they, um, they're problematic to buy. They don't last very long. Like there's, right. there's a chunk of things in there. Um, so this this is kind of cool. So these products are they all? Um, do you represent all these products, or or you make, or you guys kind of th these are all your homegrown products, if you will. These are all our homegrown products. Hey, you got a lot of stuff going on, eh? Wow. Yeah, you, Me too. you are. Yeah. Yes. Wow. From a so when you're talking to retailers, sorry, Christine, when you're talking to retailers, like, like when you're talking about these sprays, et cetera, right? Mm -hmm. Because you're you're talking to produce people, mm -hmm. I'm assuming for the most part. If you're going to the yes. buyer, like how are you getting into their world? Because I'm assuming this isn't going to be in the produce department's sales potentially. If it is, it's easier to get next to the tomatoes. If you're mm -hmm. talking to the cleaning aids buyer and trying to get that aisle into produce, produce might be thinking, well, you know, I don't get credit for this. What do I care? Mm -hmm. so I'm trying to figure like even how like so when you're going in is is this extending life of produce within the store potentially not just when I get it home um, I'm assuming it's a good margin for me as the produce person because I know what mm -hmm. I can make on mm -hmm. produce and things like that like so like That's what's a really great question yes. yes so actually some of the produce departments do get uh, the credit for the products um, the, the best thing we did was create shippers because they had no yeah. space for, for our products mm -hmm. and being, um, brand new, we're, we're about three years old, which is coming on for you in terms of the products that you're seeing now, the, the ones that we're really, um, selling a lot of are probably two to three years old. You know, we went through the R and D, but coming back to your question. Yeah. The, some of the produce um, sections do get that credit. And when I met with the store either owners or managers, they actually liked the fact that we had a lot of different products because they wanted us in several different departments. Right. So we have the cosmetic creams, we have pet, and, and a pet, the pet market is, is exploding due to nice. COVID, you know? How many people brought in a new pet because they didn't want to be alone? Well, mm -hmm. and let's be honest, we spend more on our pets than we do our kids. <laughs> Right. So, yeah, it was um, it was the shippers that really helped us because, you know, we're fighting for, for shelf space. And, you know, I pushed, I, I, you know, basically begged, just please give me a chance. And they did, thankfully. But I like the fact that if you can have some off self off shelf, like to get to the produce people, it's just an, it's a super, super easy incremental. Right. Um, for them. Right. So exactly. All the produce guys are going to the show need to come and see you. That's definitive. Yes, for sure. And you know, you you brought up a really good thing, uh, Vinny, in the sense that the stores actually should be. You know how they spray and mist all their produce. This would really be great mm -hmm. for them. It'd be less throwaway. You know, well, I'm assuming it extends life because if you're if you're if you're naturally killing some of the Bacteria, stuff that we put on, yeah. or even stuff sometimes that we put on food to well, I don't know what whatever we do as humans to, to do whatever we do. Right. Is it would be nice to get some of that stuff off at store level. And if we can extend life and keep it clean, that's like scook them, right? Sure. And let's talk about strawberries and the berry world, you know, those, the molds and everything that, that I mean, by the time you've opened them in two days, you're throwing them away. So well, these exactly. are the things that, yeah, yeah. So okay. that's yeah. interesting. Cool. And well, so, and that is sort of your lead product. That one and also our little travel disinfectant, which actually became our number one. Oh. And I think that's because once people started to travel again and, you know, we became more aware of what these viruses and all these bacteria meant to us. Um, this is really great because the worst place on an airplane is the bathroom. So you can spray down that whole bathroom. You mm -hmm. can spray down your seat. You can spray down your TV monitor. You can your your hand, every anywhere you touch you touch. You can spray it down if you're if you're concerned about you know the germs and things from right. other people, right? So that one actually is our number one seller, and then the produce would be our our number two. Very cool. Is that the? Sorry, I'm on the site. So that's the chemical free disinfectant light no not that yeah, one so we have a travel version of that that's right okay got it got it, got yes. it. okay 
Yeah, that's interesting for sure. I mean, all of those, right? You get to an Airbnb, you get to, exactly. I mean, it's, you know, a little bottle, but you could bring a lot. Of well, I think we learned all planes, like trains, and it, right? Like, good Lord. Right. The it travel tray in front of you. Yeah. The yeah. Travel, and they're unscented. So you're not going to blow yeah. anybody yeah. out of their seat when they, when you pull out a spray. You know what that's like. We've all had that experience, I'm sure. Yeah. So, so that's, that's interesting, right? So, and where does that, does that go? Like, does that go in house care or does that go in trial and travel? Does it go into? It could be a few options. First day. Like I'm thinking about like a Purell, um, parallel, yes. which it's, it's sort of is, but sort of is not right. But right. or Clorox wipes, right? Somewhere in there. And so, so Clorox wipes could be a trial and travel, right? Um, but it could be. Yeah, it could be a bunch of places. You were going to say something. I'm going to. Well, some of the stores actually, because um, it's a little bottle, put them right up by the till. So when people checked out, they were selling them right at the till. Mm -hmm. Then they were going in the travel section as well. Mm -hmm. um, so those were the two main locations um, for for that. And so, right. you know, the next big popular one that's in more of the dental world is our mouth guard spray. So that's a natural mouth guard spray that gets rid of all the bacteria, reoccurring viruses and all that on your mouth guard, which is probably one of the dirtiest <laughs> appliances in your home yeah. is your mouth guard, right? Yeah. So the store started carrying that and putting that near the toothpaste and the toothbrushes in, in that aisle. So like your Invisaligns and stuff like that to give them exactly, a... Exactly. Wow. Okay. Never thought of that one. Yeah. So let me ask you. So, yeah. so if, again, for more of the, of the people coming to show, are we, are we a Canadian uh, company? Are we manufactured in Canada? Yes. Um, what are we doing? We are born and raised in Calgary and manufacturing in Calgary. Awesome. And, right. Awesome. awesome. Mm -hmm. So we can support our own, which is, which is exactly. always a nice thing, yeah. a nice thing to do. Yeah. Um, in terms of, um, so your goals are you right now mostly in the natural health channel are you in all stores are you looking for more stores are you looking for distribution help or brokerage help again it's always the audience that we're talking to that I, we would yes. love to have the right people come to you and say listen we need to talk to you or we can help you yes i would love to have a really good distributor that is more probably more niche in the sense that you know, it's very difficult out there. I've had discussions with some of the bigger distributors that then wanted me to have a broker. And speaking with other, you know, companies and, and the owners, some of them hired those brokers and they paid forty, fifty, fifty, sixty thousand dollars and didn't see one new store. I had a small distribution uh, company out here that um, didn't get me into one store. The whole point of me, you know, um, having them take care of my product line was to bring on some new stores. So that's been my biggest challenge, to be honest, is, is finding the right distributor um, that can that understands the natural world um, and understands our goal to be, you know, cost effective and uh, be healthy for the family and be healthy for your pets. Um, we, we just want to be positive all the way around and offer, you know, uh, cost effective alternatives, which is really important because how many times do we go to into a natural store and it's 10 times the price of what you'd pay if you, for cereals, for instance, right, which is kind of sad. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's what we wanted to change with Sunbee is give you something natural, but not make you have to pay double for it. Mm -hmm. we, we have brought it, mm -hmm. you know, bought in all the best bottles we could for the best pricing and jars and, be, you know, try to be sustainable in that in that way as well. Very cool. Yeah, that's very cool. Very cool. Um, yeah, so if you're watching this, um, come find these guys in um, Incubation Alley. Um, and then she's looking for distributors. Like she's looking for folks that can help her move product. I think that's one of the biggest things that we like to do with these shorties in particular is one, you know, uh, increase brand recognition just a little bit, right? So so um, we do see that or or people hear that, right? As they hear your voice down the alley and they realize, I've heard that voice before, or or I saw that, you know, I, I remember reading or hearing something about the product, right? So that they stop. And then I think, um, you know, for the distributors, the brokers, they're always out looking. And so now, you know, hopefully potentially um one of the those guys has seen this and then and then we'll come find you right so um 
No, it's, it's nice. It's nice yeah. to actually have a Canadian company too, manufactured in our country, um, doing the work in our country, which is which is really important too. In terms of distribution right now, so are you in a bunch of stores within, is it mostly mm -hmm. uh, Alberta, Calgary, mm -hmm. or are you into, I mean, I'm, I'm, in B, I'm in Vancouver, he's in Mississauga. Yeah. BC is obviously, you know, yes. our country, like definitely different than some of the rest of the country. I'm mainly in Alberta right now. We're just okay. starting to pop up into BC. Okay. Um, definitely want to get a uh, bigger um, uh, audience in, in BC and Ontario. I mean, we should For be sure. across Canada. You know, we have really great products that are going to help families, yeah. <laughs> you know, in terms of sustainability. Very cool. Love it. Very um, cool. Thank you for jumping on. That was Thank you. Us, right? I hope. Oh, I wasn't sure what I was going to be in for, but, you know, I really appreciate you inviting me. I, I started listening to your podcast. I love it. I Thank absolutely you. Thank you. That's, love it. That's very kind. I really do. No, and I was really ex excited to speak with you. And, and I took a look at your website. And I'm going to reach out on some of the things about you and what you guys offer as well. So okay. thank you. Awesome. Yeah, no, That's thank you. Nice. Thank you. We're, we're excited. We, uh, we like doing this. We, we just think, um, you know, like you, you have some really innovative products here that, yeah, the mouth guard thing. I think of all the years that I played organized sports and my, I have Invisaligns. Do you know how uh, mucked up those things can get? Mouth guard that I, you know, I played football and the thing went through yeah. the mud with me, you know, and then what did it, it just went back into that little retainer thing. Yes. So God knows exactly how many pounds of mud I've gotten in my body. Into that lovely bag with all that other yeah. dirty yeah. stuff. Yeah, and all this stuff. Oh. Right? Yeah. It's one just one last comment then just yeah. because you know what you're talking about. Yeah. So we just launched a whole product line under a, a new website called odorbuster.ca and that is all about sport. So it's the equipment. We spray down the equipment to get rid of all the sweat odors. We've got the mouth guard. We've got great uh, muscle creams. Yeah. Just take a look at that for if you've got kids in that. I'll send you okay. some of the product to try out for sure. Yeah, we'll I mean, you, you know, at the show. We'll yeah. definitely, come we'll down definitely see you at the show. Sure. Sure. Yeah. 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 And Kenny, awesome. if you send me your address, I'll send you some mouth guard spray. You definitely need it if you've got Invisaligners. Yeah, man. I mean, you know, and because like I'm to the point where they're, it's obviously just nighttime, but you use the one set for the year, mm -hmm. you know, and then, you know, about three days into the year, you're thinking, shit, this is a, a year's a long time, right? A really long time. And then you wake up the next morning thinking, geez, a day is a really long time. They, Never mind the year. Feel, do they feel fuzzier than they did yesterday? Like, <laughs> <laughs> you really gotta scrub them down. Really the scrub them down. <laughs> Plant that little in his head just a little bit. He'll yeah. be back. Yeah. yeah. In, in another week, he won't be like, "Don't, don't send me free stuff. I'll buy it." Because <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll send you. Yeah. Something. Yeah. You, know, you, you pick something on the website too. I'll send you something for your tryout. Sounds cool. All well, right. So it's very nice meeting you. Thank yeah. you for doing this. Thank uh, we'll you. We get the show. Um, do you? Do you don't do you have a booth number yet that you want yes, to share? Yes, we are. Uh, what are we are? Two two one three three B. I think two one three three B. Like Bob. One, one, okay, three, two one three three Incubator Alley. Go down and see them. Yeah. Um, you got some really opportunities. So it sounds like for some good margins and some decent sales, and hopefully attracting a brand new consumer or growing these categories that should be grown anyway. Thank you. And go Canada. <laughs> Thank you. Have a great weekend. Oh, thanks. We see. Take okay. care of yourself. Bye thanks bye. for coming on. Bye. bye. Ciao. Interesting. Interesting stuff. Interesting. Yeah. Natural sport spray, mouth guard spray. The well, it's funny it's really you don't really think like the mouth guard spray. Like I, that's um, honestly like you. I, I get up in the mornings. I think Jesus Murphy. Like a year is just a long time for this thing to be. You know, and I and I'll toothbrush it. You know, the electric toothbrush and clean up. But you're kind of thinking this is really, you know, yeah, even rinsing and, and letting walk. I don't know the whole thing. I mean, yeah, the, the, the toothbrush stuff. thing, the toothbrush thing, like it makes it taste better, but it fluoride isn't exactly. But none of it, Phil, like, and it's a, you know, fluoride fluoride isn't exactly bacteria killing or any of those. No, things. none of it really is. And, you know, I mean, great for whitening, but I got, I got really whitening bacteria. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I really yeah. done much for me on this one. Anyway, yeah. I, 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 there's some cool things in there for sure. Yeah. Very cool. Awesome. Thanks everybody.